Les Bear. Premier 2. 5 inch guarantee. Yep. Picked this up from some guy recently. Yeah, I heard you got a killer deal from this some doofus who didn't know what he had. <laughs> you should do that more often. Some nice bullets. Golden Sabres? Uh, yeah, I believe so. So this will be my first uh, rounds through this one. It's not my first Les Bear though. I think the quality of the Les Bear is legendary. Where do you think? Because you've got Wilsons and other stuff. I, I like the Les Bear probably better than the Wilson. Is that right? Yeah. And pound for pound, I think dollar for pound. Oh, it's $1,000 cheaper. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, I, I bet I you it was it a loose, an errant thumb. Yeah. All right, what do you think so far? Well, I think Les Bear guarantees a one and a half inch group. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the, that's the, small, the small print that nobody reads. <laughs> All right, let's go oh, see. Really nice. All right, what did you do? You ruin this target? Yep. Yeah. So how many do you have in there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, seven. And yep. Had eight. All right. Not bad. I mean, this isn't a trivial distance either. No, I've only been out here. Yeah. Four hours. A little fatigue, a little dehydration in this. Yeah, probably the dehydration. <laughs> in the nice summer heat. <laughs> I'm guessing we're at least 90 at this point in time. Oh, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter there was a nice storm yesterday. That was yesterday. Today's today. Plus it's desert. It is. At least it's not windy. We don't have all the dust. No, this is great. I noticed from the early uh, Les Bears that I had, he's actually gone to uh, name brand VZ Grips. Yeah. He used to have some other ones that were just as nice, but these have a ton of checkering. Yeah, they do. And I never found any need to replace mine, although... I kind of like one that you have on your Smith & Wesson. Yeah, that's just that's, a different pattern. Uh, that's called the Alien pattern. Oh, yeah, that one just seems to lock into your hand. Because it's got two different texture, two different sizes of checkering on it. Mm -hmm. But these seem really good. Plus, the, the hand checkering on these is unbelievable. Yeah. It's like hanging onto a, vi uh, 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 what do you call them, a file. You know, a really nice uh, pattern file. It just doesn't move in your hand. I really like the serrations on the slide that Bear does. Yep, those are nice and fine and they, they bite. And they're sharp. And they're sharp, yep. Right target. I got that one right in the face. That empty breath. I did it again. Uh oh. Good. I could hear the uh, the reset on the trigger. It seems like it's really a short reset. It is, and I was purposely holding it and doing a very deliberate reset. Excellent. That felt good. Okay, I think you got a winner here. Oh my heavens. I think that might be a twofer there. Let me see. One, no, two, three, eight. four. Oh, yeah, that's eight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. Free hand from that distance. I'll take it. Yeah, and that wasn't, it wasn't slow. It wasn't fast, but it was definitely deliberate. Well done. I've had a couple of Thunder Ranches and come and went. Hmm. And I think the uh, what I've been studying, they said that the lockup that for these one and a half inchers is in the lockup up here, more so than in the bushing, the yep. tightness of the bushing. And I'll uh, take a look at it. And these are supposed to be uh, cart barrels, and yeah. I found that with uh, with my other ones, you actually need to use bristles on them to get the letting out. That you can't just run a bore snake and and get success. Um, maybe it's the sharper lands and grooves. I don't know. I don't know what, but. It seems like it's not quite as simple as other guns. But yeah, these things are just absolutely gorgeous. 
And well, I mean, gorgeous. They look kind of basic, honestly. <laughs> yeah, and, but uh, they don't feel basic. They don't feel basic. They're not in their fit and function. Look at that fine checkering. Yeah. Yeah, that's all hand done. 30, 30 lines per inch. And there was some guy who's been doing the checkering on these. I think it was like 12 straight years. <laughs> and that is so fine, it's hard to imagine. And, and it's perfect, really. I'm going for the left. That first piece of brass came over the top and hit me. <laughs> Got you. All right, let's go see what happened. Yeah, these are just magnificent. Looks like uh, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pulled one. <laughs>